Hey lightweights and welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, so <laughs> I'm a little bit obsessed with this game. So between last video and this video, uh, it's been a while since I recorded because I was, I got very far ahead in the first sitting. So I recorded every video that you've seen so far, basically in like two days. And it's been about two weeks since I did that, I think. Um, so anyways, I've been wanting to keep playing, so I did like all of the side stuff. <laughs> I did all of the wealth, like in a lot of different regions. I did all of the, hmm, what are they called? The white dots, I don't remember what they're called. In a lot of different regions. I've done a lot of fishing. <laughs> I've improved my town a lot. <laughs> so you're gonna notice when we open up the map, it's going to be much different than the last time you saw it. Um, I obviously have not done any of the main missions. The only mysteries I did were the ones that were like the shrines or the ones that were uh, where you like eat the mushroom and you have like that little puzzly thing. Um, but I haven't done like the actual ones that are little storylines. I haven't done those side ones. So anyways, you will see that the map looks very different. It's much more open, much more explored. Um, yeah, so we're gonna pick right up with the story mission that we had left off on with Soma uh, because I really wanna progress in the story because I'm kind of like locked into where I am now because I'm not a high enough level to go into a new area to explore off camera. Um, and I feel like I'm kind of just stuck at the level I'm at until I progress in the story. So uh, we're gonna start off by helping out Soma figure out who betrayed her. Um, last video, I was kind of thinking that it was Galen, I think his name was. He just seemed, a, as kids these days say, he seemed a little sus. So um, that's kind of where I'm, I'm leaning at this point, but I'm gonna try to go into it with an open mind just in case, because you know sometimes the most obvious is not always the answer. So I'm just gonna try to go in with an open mind and um, figure it out as we go. So I'm super, super excited to keep playing because it's been killing me not being able to play the main story. Uh, so before we get into it, you know the drill, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. All right, you guys, here we go. Okay. Um, Let me. I wore this new chapstick and like, it makes my lips feel funky. This is the map now. <laughs> so I've, do, I've done a wee bit of exploring. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I don't know what the heck this thing is, but I figured since I didn't know what it was, I should save it. Also, I discovered like these daughters of something something we've got some fights we've got some animals we've got a whole lot of stuff some things i couldn't find like how to get and i needed to get there with the story so these big things that i unlocked i don't think i can really get yet but yeah that's kind of um kind of what i've been doing i'm just gonna work in order of these just work my way down I also didn't get these because I didn't want to like mess something up for the mission. But we're getting pretty close with the wealth here. I got all the artifacts. So we're going to start with Callan. To destroy any hamlets loyal to Wigmund. I also did teach my horse how to swim. I upgraded it somewhat because I had a decent amount of money. How do I... Climb down this. I don't think I got a new horse though. I think I kept the same horse. I don't think I bought a different one. I also didn't buy a different raven because I feel bad getting rid of Sonin. Sonin? Maybe? Um, okay. Watch out, cheapest! Well, bye to you too. Oh, also I wanted to show you decent amount of skills, power level 77. I tried to fight one of those 
What do we call them? What are they called? What are these people? I forget what they're called. They handed my ass to me on a silver platter. It was not good. Now granted, I hadn't played in a very long time and I kind of forgot like the controls for a second. Because I was going into it from miles. <laughs> so I might be okay if I try it again, but we're just gonna wait. What if Soma has just cursed with bad luck? Soma has only ever pleased the gods. Asserting her now, breaking your oath, that is what will bring us ill luck. Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. Well, he sounds loyal. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating. Like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, oh, I, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me naked and alone in the fence she clothed and cared for me humbled as I was I owe her my life hmm visions can be strange and powerful what did you see I was climbing a mountain a lion and a snake upon my back weighing me down I struggled and Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another tightly. I know it can seem distant, obsessed, but the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others, Leif and Birna? Leif? He's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Birna, well, Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on lies. Birna yeah. is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. He seems a little, a little salty. I am with eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Okay, well now I don't know because he sounded like he talked a good talk. The red enemy of the branch will make I don't know how to interpret. I don't know how to interpret the um the vision he had. But it didn't sound suspicious to me. It's a very curvy bridge. Why is it so tall? <laughs> Burning stone. Leave no house unburned. This is what they get for helping Rand Grand Bridge from Soma. For licking Eldam and Wickman's boots. Luga! Hello! Oh shoot, I should have assassinated him. Uh-oh. <gasps> no. Stop that. Should have run, rubbish. Wow, I cannot get the parry side. <laughs> Shit. That was no bueno. Oh, that worked. Okay, I think I figured out the parry time. Oh, that guy just went flying. Stop. Alright, Gallon. 
together, lad! Oh. Work with me! Oh, stop! <laughs> I love that move. Vengeance is mine! I hate spear guys. I hate them. I hate them. With me here! Yeah, you flop around. Oh! Oh! Body parts flying! Look at God, okay, so itchy right now. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, I love that one so much! Slice and dice! Um, there's another one that she does with, like, a heavy hammer that is so cool. She like smashes both the knees and then <laughs> right on the head. Remember, stuck on the wall. Ring my bell. There's no bell to ring, you doofus. Duh. Ring my bell. Keep Are they just gonna? Oh, so maybe I should, you know, like burn down buildings right now. Yeah, throw it, throw it at the rock, at the stone, that's gonna work. Did I catch it? Why is that blue? I'm confused. What's supposed to be happening there with that? How are you down right now? Oh, you're you're up now. Okay. Ah, the smell of burning roof thatch and heady turf fire. Making weird faces because I don't know what is happening, but my face is so itchy. No, put that away. Yeah. Well, I want my weapon out. I don't want to throw my torch. I want to use my bow. I'll ring the bell. Let's bleed. Oh, I'm attacking him with my torch. Burn, baby. Burn. Okay. Gallon, will you talk to me now, please? Gallon. Game. Hey, talk to me. Why? We should be laughing at it. Stay 
speak with Gallon. Gallon's broken. Don't grant me strength. Okay. Get these berries now. Gallon? Buddy? Now that was something. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery suitor himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga. Cool. I don't know what that guy is. That was like... I keep running into these people who have question marks over their heads, and I don't know what they... Maybe I should talk to them. I don't know what they are. I didn't want to start something that I should do on camera if... They just like wander around. Hey! hey. Wait! <laughs> I just want to talk to you! Ah, this bird is chasing me around. Where are you going? They're swimming away. Okay. I guess I'm not talking to the question mark guy. <laughs> How rude. Steer clear of those people. The hair gets hey. longer, the nails I've grow, even when the corpse is cold. I've seen it myself. Eivor, my muscle banded friend! <laughs> There's a nest of Wigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. The fewer lies in the bush, the less itchy the pussycat. That's how I see it. How did you come to join Soma's army? I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa, smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy, but it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed it away. When Soma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. Useful to her vision. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust, She's one who did. Right. And I love that about her. I love everything about her. Oh. You seem to bring life and spirit to this clan. Does Soma feel the same? If I knew what was going on in another person's head, I'd find life dreadful and dull. But Soma seems to enjoy my company. In what way? Her own way. Just not in the way I'd like. Painful truths are easy to bear when you can laugh, you see. Delight in the face of suffering is an act of rebellion. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Galen and Leif? Oh, Leif's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. <laughs> he brays about being yeah. honorable, but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this... Self-importance that is just so charming. Okay. We these are not helping me at all. But these Saxons may fly from their nest. You and I should take a closer look. My men will hang back and come running if things go sideways. I feel like... There's always the potential for a lover scorned to betray. You should bring a thrill. It's usually what Hopefully it is. I can see it up close. Don't but get she doesn't... too close. I might like your eye or bruise your head. <laughs> You'd lose your elbow before the bruises showed. <laughs> but she doesn't seem like God's upset. 
if that makes sense. What would happen if I just shot this guy from here? That other guy looking. Let's do it, who cares? The answer is nothing. Nothing would happen. How do I get in here? Probably this way. Do you think I can jump over these? Oh, come on, Eivor. Those are so short. You could definitely jump over those. Oh, ow. You don't see me. I'll take those. Who saw me? Oh, the person's up there. Okay, we got a key. I gotta get the key. You make more noise than Ragnarok send, and these Saxons still don't see you. Not everyone is so fox-eared as you. More's the pity. Who's on fire, and how are you on fire? People down there. Oh shit, there's a bunch of people up there too. What is happening? Why is the world shaking? <sighs> I am the mighty hunter. anymore, huh? Why are they attacking? I wanted to kill all these people stealthy-like. Okay, I clearly shot him. Excuse you. Your feet and quick through the grass. Sound carries over snowdrifts. I learned young. I practiced by sneaking in and Okay, out of totally whiffed. Windows. That's fine. Every chance I hey. What's up? Get up there. Okay, I just climb up there apparently. Pay for your sins. We have this. Oh, okay. <laughs> that guy was real smooth. Opportunity. Why are you on the roof? With that. Okay, there's somebody down. Shit. Where are you? Hello! Oh, the guy who caught himself on fire. The idiot. Sure, you guys are bad. Okay. I keep thinking I have a shield to block those arrows. I do not. Patience will reward us. You bleeding dungle. Going to split you. Going to split you. Oh, 
Okay, okay. All right. Mister. Oh, we left again. How did I knock his head off like that? I just said that was sheer force, I think. Thanks. <laughs> he was clearly in some pain. side this place is annoying how do I get up this can't be the only way up am I just like on the bad side probably missing something obvious it's fine okay I gotta go get that key because clearly I'm gonna need it for something All of them. Ah, oh. the solitude of after slaughter. Shame about the smell, though. Okay, Men where? shitting themselves. Where'd the key go? Was, I thought. Oh, it is up there. How do I? Oh, I can just climb it. Wigmund. Thane Randwald. Enclosed is a small gift to show my gratitude for all you've done. The men are well trained and are eager for war. I have never seen a group of soldiers more ready to reclaim what is rightfully theirs, nor mere <laughs> nor more ready to defend it once they do. Your loyalty is unmatched, and I know your continued support is something I can rely on. Victory will be ours, Wigmund. Someone said focus of Nornir is really good. Alright, where? So I think that one that it sees is the next town over. We got some more treasures. Oh, that guy's still alive over there. He's probably very confused. You fought very well, Birna. Is that how you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drengir. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. Who are you talking to? Last one. Still really have no idea who it is. I feel like my initial impressions are like the only thing I'm gonna have to go on because the stories are not very helpful. Why do things keep catching on fire here? This place is dangerous. and I could jump in the hay bale, but it smells not.
that sheep? I do hate how slow the horse goes up a hill. Like, some of the hills, it makes sense because they're really steep, but some of them, it's like, this is barely an incline and you're going that slow. Like that. That that was a little ridiculous. Yeah. This priest blows his white hair as a hailstorm. You cannot be allowed to keep spewing. Did you sail through a storm? You never mentioned. Uh, Seen him. Eivor! A fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leaf. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elderman and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and Ours is in the way of the camera shot. That will get Wickman steaming. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum. The great summer army, the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. What would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. Hmm. You were there when Guthrun made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows trade. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. Hmm. So he doesn't seem, like, upset about it. He just seems regretful that he didn't try for it as well. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. Hmm. Good conversation, Leaf. Now let's take down Wickman's men. So right, that seems a right. little... Wickman's will awaits his reward. <sighs> Didn't we see... Did I see that off camera or on camera? You Fuck, I don't I remember. Would find the priest. I stumbled across like a paint... Like a, an X painted on the secret tunnel in the town. Wasn't that done with yellow paint? I feel like it would be too obvious for him to paint it himself, though. So I feel like that kind of eliminates Leaf. Well, good thing we're having a straightforward approach. Because our people just ran right in. Fuck. I was doing so well with my parrying earlier. Come, brothers. Let's end this. The sword is definitely the most boring of the kill strikes. Oh, I got this move where if you run at somebody, you do so much damage. Hold on. I'm sure you all have it, but let me show you. And go. See? So cool. Don't fuck with me. I love it. Let's do that again. Okay. 
There's multiple keys. Priest is in the church. Shoot it! Shoot it! You don't even think I'm a human? I'm in it? Okay, where's that other key? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, fuck. You didn't see anything. Look at this structure. The trees that must have hewn. The devices that must have used to lift stone. Solid. Are you in the fuck. midst of a conversion? Shall I steal a small cross for you as well? No. Never. And the craftsmen drew the the crafts. Fuck, I hate them! of Walden carries with him the blessings of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You carry with you my hidden blade. The priest's lies will not poison the Shire anymore. We should leave. Letter from Wigmund. Father Cuthbert. I want to thank you for your continued support. I must say I am charmed by your pupils. They're endowed with an obedience that I suspect can only be attributed to your wisdom and guidance. Please continue sending them my way. It pleases me to speak with them, to speak with such spry young men, eager to learn about the order of the ancients. There is much for them to gain, and they are welcome to follow this great cause. Wait a minute. Okay, so why do we need these two keys? There must be another... Why'd I get these keys? <laughs> what are they for? Those are just little guys. Huh. Oh. Okay, so that's one key. Oh, that's not the key. Oh, so this key was just to get into the church, but for some reason the door was open? But what was the other key for? Need to cloak myself here. I mean, we just like murdered everybody, so I'm pretty sure we don't. Just saying. There's a house over here that needs it. Oh, 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 okay. Guess we're not going down the ladder. It's caught a light. Everything's caught a light. I don't know. Weird. Oh, wait. 
Okay. What's in here? Just a regular old chest, not even a big loot thing. Dude, your house is burning down. Get out. <laughs> it's like, I'm not leaving my house. Stay sharp. Stop it down. Oh. I'm not really sure how I did that. <laughs> how are you down? What the heck? Pigs! Doggy? Hi! Can I pet you? <laughs> what? Leaf. Come hither. Leaf. Apparently, Leaf can't jump out into the hay bale like I can. This area is off limits. I see you. Come here. Such a such a particular path that he has to take. Well struck. We made short work of Wickman's man. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. Mm, I still feel like it's Galen. Probably wrong, but my gut says Galen. Let's do... We're right here. Let's do this random... is like none other. All it takes is one. His fist is a glorious bat. Oh, such a fine wallop it is. Little ones, what is this wallop you speak of? It's our grandfather. And be careful unless you want a walloping. I'm certain my might could clove his wallop. Many cowards have said the same. He uses only one fist, one wallop. Boom! Like a wolf howling with its knuckles. Well, this wallop has me curious. Ha! Good. Destiny is coming to your plate. Grandfather, there's someone looking for a walloping! Hello. Yes, I have overwhelmingly powerful strength, but it is not worth talking about. If you are a dringer, we should tell stories of battle, swill a cup of mead around a hearth, and share our wisdom. You want some wisdom? Don't become a hero like I have. I'm cursed with this wallop. These children have made me curious. Your calm demeanor even more so. I'm so confused. I beg you. There's no need for this to go where I feel you think it should. <laughs> you best depart unless you desire your face become a fist cave. Children, stop saying such things. I do not want to use it. Um... I truly wish to see this wallop. I will break it with my humble fists. This is gonna be so bad. Oh, us will enjoy this, I'm afraid. He's probably so much higher than I am. I'm tired. Okay, he does have a wallop. As promised, the now victory for me and my wallop. Oh, still unbeaten. <laughs> my God. Come back if you want another taste of my endless victory. 
I know I don't want you to. So I had to beat him in order to win that? Or in order to don't get that mystery done? My ma Hi, I have returned. I have returned. To be well again. Yes, it is time. I want This is a sad mo Okay. You're finished. Don't say I didn't warn you. The disappointment Why can't you will I... feel, I also feel. <laughs> Back dodge. So goes my day. I'm confused. Oh. As promised, the null victory for me and my wallet. Ugh. All right, whatever. I don't care enough. Not yet, at least. Um. Yeah. So we're not doing that right now. I'll go back to that some other time. I guess I can go here. If you guys have any hints for that guy, or strategies, I should say. I'm all ears. All right, what do I want? I don't remember what I was working towards. Working towards something. Could be good. Oh shit, I want that. How do I get that? Does this connect to it? Shit. <laughs> it does, but not right away. Okay, we'll get that next. Anyways, like I was saying, if you have any strategies for- ooh, a wooden like for that wallop mission. I felt like I was doing something wrong. Also, it seems silly that he can only only has to hit me one time. But I felt like every time I was trying to punch him, um, I was not getting him. Maybe I need You'll to lock on. You nothing out of me. Nothing. Insects like you would Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. <laughs> little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. No, oh, sweet lord, no, no, no. <laughs> He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz. The Lord will smite you from this land, all of you. May God have mercy on- <laughs> ah! <clears throat> I thought we didn't have to kill him. That home-thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. 
I couldn't risk it. Hmm. Christians don't curse. Definitely Galen. Whitman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Definitely Galen. He was worried that guy was gonna snitch on him. Ooh, let's have some pig. Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely, hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack, but I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Oh yeah, I did stumble across um, a couple of clues like randomly in the world. Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable, but she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. I don't think I need to say all of these things. Gallen puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape, and Gallen sees an important meaning. Gallon told me he was near death when you found him, and saved his life. Yes, people thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? We do. I found Gallon's longboat painted hastily with yellow paint on the day of the attack. Why would he mark his longboat differently from the rest of ours? I found a message meant for Saxon forces. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. You. You told me you found yellow paint on Galen's longboat, didn't you? Okay, apparently I didn't realize that I found those clues. The secret tunnel had many footprints nearby, and its mouth was painted with a yellow mark. Whoever betrayed you, they did so by marking the tunnel entrance, then opening the way to let the Saxons in. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been Fuck, I'm nervous. <laughs> Who is the traitor? <sighs> Gallon betrayed you. Are you certain? God, I hope he actually did. Fuck. <laughs> this will be the hardest. <laughs> what thing happens I've if I got it done. wrong? Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. Oh shit. This is not gonna be good. <sighs> what if I got it wrong? Hmm. I didn't get it wrong. He stabbed the guy. There's no reason for him to stab the guy. It's Gallon. It's Gallon. It's Gallon. My family. My inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, oh for you cannot God. survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Oh my God, she's gonna kill him? I thought she was gonna banish him. Galen, you have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't. Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory. Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <gasps> he believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. Do we ever find out if I'm right? I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death. 
but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. Summer. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She's a leader, not a friend, Evo. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. I have an iron stomach and a powerful thirst. That would be really nice, because I wonder if I can use that instead of having to track down frickin' barrels to blow things up. My armor is so cool, you guys. But, I like that I can see my tattoos with no, with no top on them. <laughs> Alright, um... I really want to do some side mysteries, but I really want to make progress in the main story. hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma, Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. All right, so can we stealth this, or is the crew just gonna go in right away? Because that seems to be happening a lot recently. <laughs> Make sure there's no baddies out here. He's hiding at the summit of the hill. I can smell him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Shouldn't Lightning tingles my blood, Eivor. I hear the voices of my slaughtered people on the air, calling so me. You're being very loud when we're trying to sneak. To be alive. Wait, man! I want to see the light. Leave your eyes. Uh. So much for stealth, Soma. Hold on, die slow, Wigman. You cannot delay your fate. Glad I messed that up. But I didn't. I will tear his throat from his neck with my teeth. Okay. Assassinate! What? 
Guess I fucked that up, huh? No one to blame there but myself. Watch out, monk. Here they are. Caught in the crossfire. What's in here? Who needs doors? Not me. That was so good. Oh shit, you don't see me. Die for all you've taken from me. Okay, well this is Oma, so come here. Big bend. Hey, I wanna talk to you. Where is he? Oh, sorry, Summer. Right in the kidney. He is retreated to the monastery. So, in there? Pretty sure I already cleared this place in a raid. I think normally there's stuff in here to get. Probably cowering within the monastery. What's going on? Why are those flowers whistling? Maybe I should go look. Hey, Oop. wait! Why are those flowers throwing axes? Maybe I should go look. Dude doesn't care. There was an axe that just came flying out of here. He just doesn't care. Is it? Really? Oh, what do you? That was pathetic. Get down the side. Ooh. It'll cost me what? Your life. The sword ones are so boring. They still do work, though. How'd you get me? I was behind Soma and he still got me. What? Just too bad us ladies taking out the monastery. Wigmund? It's gotta be in here, right? Let's go through the top. Oh, I like this music right now. To the bowels of Grantbridge, and still we could not hold the city. That raving pagan handed me Grantbridge. Stop the heathen! Raider! Viking! Stop her! She means to erase me, to banish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. That is no way to call for sacrifices. 
their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield, yield, yield! If your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it. Is that guy supposed to be Odin? I don't know who he is. Oh! Well, that was rude. burned this heap to the ground. Going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built in here. Trust. That will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, Soma. The end of the storm is well in sight. You're right. I know you're right. It's just... It's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Yep. I get that. Hey, Selma, want to ride? <laughs> Look at that. We didn't even need the people. We were fine on our own. <gasps> Woohoo! Party! Let's get drunk. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone. Even if my heart needs mending. Ah. While I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. So my Yalskuna, my deepest thanks. And there's something else. Guys, I freaking love so much. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Hello, bird. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. I wish our hood was down for this. <laughs> Thief? Eivor! Birna. You struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all fought hard, and now Grand Bridge I mean, is yours. You <laughs> no. have your home once again. Ah, 
Soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grand Bridge and the people in it. That is noble and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you, in your crew. You want to live with the Raven Heck yes! And sail and raid with you. I like you, Mirna. Look at this. Who would it? <laughs> I'll be happy to have you, Dringer. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. <laughs> what if we said no? That's awkward. We finished our first story arc. Nice. Okay. Skills. Um, where was I going? Where was that one? I was trying to get the adrenaline. It was up here. That's where it was. Okay, also, I just learned that you can left click so that I can get these stupid little notifications away that I absolutely hate. <laughs> you know, normal things. That place is way too high. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have a couple. I have a couple missions I can do there. Back at my my town. Okay, so why don't I go do those? Although Hmm. I guess let's go see what this one is first and see if we can do this. It seems the wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. I feel like Avar likes Randy a little more than she should. She sounded a, a bit too happy to say that. Trying to teach a horse how to swim that way. I want you to know that you can be like me. No longer dumb and angry. Hey, monk. No need to brag of your faith. Have you recently tested your faith? Considered the holy path? It is a better way, I he swear. He needs a haircut. To you. I am content with my gods. Not as content as I am with mine, I am sure. He allows me to avoid rage. I am never angry. Never. Good for you. Without anger in my life, I am completely changed. No longer obsessed with riches like you. They are meaningless because he loves me. Go ahead and burn my house. Destroy my belongings. I will never get angry. I want you to know that you can be like okay. me. No longer I can do that. You seem lost and homeless. <laughs> Mind what you will. You could burn it to the ground, and it will not change me. Upon the 875th winter since the death of our great Lord Jesus, on the day of the moon in the month of war, I have changed my name from Eagle to Sinigar... Sinigar the Pious? I relinquish the ills of my past, clearing my palate of the sin that once dominated it. Now I have found light, and my darkness fades into it. He forgives me. Good for you, dude. I'm happy for you. Too bad I'm going to burn your house down. It's probably going to really piss you off. I don't think that worked. Maybe I'm not going to burn your house down. Maybe your thatch is burn proof. What's 
this. Oh, that worked. Oh. Bye, Torch. Yes, burn it down. Make a pyre of the past. Yes, go ahead. You see, I am not angry. Make yourself at home. It does not bother me. You will soon change from your pagan ways. Go Where do ahead. I get the key? Destroy more. My faith cannot be broken. Thank you, Lord. Sending this devil to test my faith. Mm -hmm. ah. Go ahead and slaughter my livestock. It is not something I wish to do, but I would gladly allow you to do. I don't want to do that. Don't make me do that. Okay, where's this guy? Damn key. <gasps> Fuck, it's gonna make me kill the cow. And all of this homestead, the livestock, this is all yours. They are not mine, but God's. I have converted to God, and now I share all things. Yes, you mentioned that. Curious, good man. What were you before you became so devout? I was just like you. A stupid heathen. Lost and violent. Speaking of which, you should try praying before it is too late. Too late? For what? The eternal buckery you possess? How you stand. <gasps> This hut reeks as if a battlefield, corpses, at least your other converts or your past crimes. You desecrate my integrity by insinuating such. But my faith cannot be desecrated. Praise be to my lord. Praise be to nothing. What crimes lie beneath your veil of Christ? I'm gonna kill you. We're gonna kill that cow. Hey, Bert, get off the goddamn wall! What crimes have you gotten away with? You are no convert. You are a filthy opportunist. The church gave you riches. I am a strong, Christian, mild-mannered man of the cloth. My pagan past is gone. I am... A hypocrite. With not a shred of honor. You should pay for your crimes. People die unjustly in your newfound faith. I gave you a chance, heathen. I am a better, richer man for what I did. I changed Sensing course anger. and... Fuck it! I am still the blood-hungry whore I once was. Fucking die, you putrid shit-eater. Die a thousand ways and times like the others. You would have sworn an oath to a pile of shit, you liar. Full of false pride. You should be judged at an alding for your crimes. Oh, God. Yeah. Fuck you. Stomp on your face. Those willing to give everything away. Those who have taken too much. <laughs> the devout troll. I love it. Can I read these papers that he was sitting on? Nope. Okay, that was a good one. I like that. All right. Let's do this one too. Dry bread. How? 
How is there dry bread in the lake? By all the backgrounds of the world! What ails my mind? Must be a hangover. Over here, good warrior. Uh, hi, stranger. Excuse me, I have a slight pain. Do you notice anything on my head? It's a, an itch or a cut that simply won't go away. It appears to be a, a battle scar. Ah, as I suspected. It must be from my most recent battle. You should see the other man. He got the worst of it. Worse Can he not see the axe? I suppose it's possible, yes. If he is headless. My arms are numb from battle. Does it need any dressing? Do you think it is a serious wound? Uh. The Dringer. You have an axe in your head. It is grim. I will take it out, but you will surely head off to the next realm soon. Ah. Valhalla it is. I appreciate your candid response. Now I prepare myself for the sights and sounds of the Corpse Hall. I will relieve you of the pain it gives you, send you down the Bifrost. It is time. You know, there is a great mead hall nearby. We could go there and reflect on our greatest exploits. Nothing finer than an endless night of drunken glory. To make you forget all of the dishonorable fops in this world. All your enemies have been slain. Now you rejoice. I don't know if it's true, so I'm going to preface the story with that. So apparently I've been here because those snakes are dead. I do not know. Okay. I'm going to read this note and then I'll tell my story. Brother Pugelik. Puglik? We have received your requests, all of them, in fact, but at this time we see no reason to consent to a dig, regardless of what you may believe is buried beneath these Roman ruins. When you have a moment, please visit me at the monastery. I am concerned about your well-being. I don't know, I must have been here and I just totally missed that guy. No idea. Okay, anyways, for my story. Um, like I said, don't know if it's true. Could be an old wives' tale type of thing. Didn't validate it. Didn't check its validity. <laughs> so, um, I think one of my teachers when I was in high school told me a story of a woman who her husband shot her in the head and then committed suicide. She woke up in a pool of blood and stumbled into the bathroom where she saw her she husband dead. No. I don't know. I'm mixing it up. It doesn't matter. She saw her husband dead and had a really bad headache. Oops. And since she saw her husband dead, she called the cops and she was like, my husband's dead. I don't know what happened. Um, the cops answered the door and she had a bullet hole through her head that she didn't know she had because I don't know it like went through the lobes of her brain or something so she had like a horrible migraine but she didn't realize she was shot in the head not sure don't know if that's true all right but the human body is a crazy thing so it wouldn't surprise me if it was Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. It gives me joy to take these from you. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There is mm. more to be done. Oh. 
Oh. Huh, that's cool. I have to go. Then go in peace. All right, what can we turn in next? Where are you? No, I don't want to, I don't, I don't, oh, okay, whatever. Petra, oh yeah, I got the Hunter's Lodge. Okay. Well, what is this one? Eivor, what a, oh dear. It feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And my mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams. And will forevermore. That is Sorry, all any Valka. of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. I think I already built her house. <laughs> Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted ice. Valka! <laughs> Gods above, what brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. Not yet, darling. Brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. <laughs> you see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the old father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. Hmm. This will do. Thank you. Anything to help you feel at home. 
I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions, to see them more clearly. Okay, not doing that yet. Two things I want to do before we end this video. I want to... Actually, why don't I do that first? I want to... How do I... I want to read the emails that I missed from... When I left the Animus, and I thought I could leave the Animus, but... No, I'm not so sure. Hmm. I hope that was the right way. We are looking real rough, you guys. Real rough. Okay, so the computer. Let's have a look. Okay. I don't have COVID and I'm well isolated. It's just the three of us traveling together, staying out of sight. Thanks for clearing that up in such profound detail. I'm sure I'll sleep soundly now. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, disappearing for a while. I don't like the sound of any of this Layla and I don't like, oh, maybe I should read her email first. Okay. Rami, forgive me the short detail. I wanted to call, but I'm not using phones right now and my time is limited. I'm still recovering from my trip. Things got out of hand and nothing went as expected. People got hurt. I told you it was for research and it was, but not for... The truth is I haven't worked for them for a few years now. It's a long story and I won't bother you with details, but it wasn't for me. Leave it at that. The group I'm with now, I can't explain, not over email, but they've shown me things, given me opportunities, and opened my eyes to a broader view, but not without cost. In fact, I fucked up last year, bad, more than once, and I need to make it right. I know all this sounds cryptic, it is, but I'm not in danger, not in the way you might think. If I'm being vague, it's because I need to be. I don't want any data sniffers picking up on key words that might raise alarms. Do I sound paranoid? A little? Here's the point. Don't worry about me. I'm with a couple of people who I trust now. They've been at this a lot longer than I have and they're going to see me through this, I promise. At this time next year, things will be better. The skies will be clear, the earthquakes will stop, and we'll celebrate Ramadan together. It'll be just like the 90s all over again. Tell Mama and Baba I miss them and then I'm doing fine. Your sis, L. Oh shoot, I didn't read his response. I don't like the sound of any of this, Layla. And I don't like where this is leading. Not using phones is not the right way to ease my mind. You have my number. I suggest you call it. And no, I won't say hello to our parents for you because doing so would bury me in questions I cannot answer. And to tell father that you no longer work for Abstergo would break his heart. That's all he ever talks about, how his daughter is on the cutting edge of neuroscience. The man doesn't understand the first thing about what you do or did, and he's still proud. I will not be the one to disappoint him. Is it COVID? Is that why you're being cagey? Something else? Call him, call me, and stop this insane game of hide and seek. I just want to know that you're safe. All right, L, would your favorite baseball team happen to be the Eagles? Who the fuck is this? You have a gift and a curse. The gift of old blood, the curse of not understanding it. We can help you if you help us. What you did is not your fault, but you must take responsibility for it. Otherwise, nothing gets done. 
One of us will contact you. If you miss us, you miss your chance. L. One last message, after which all communication between us via this account or any other will cease. We have our own ways of talking, methods that cannot be sniffed or traced. Your previous team made this mistake. They knew the risks, but they were sloppy, left traces of their activity on everything, digital footprint, digital fingerprints everywhere. That will not happen with us. My colleagues tell me the initial meeting went well. They are impressed, if a little wary of the influence your new toy has on you, but they knew better than most but they know better than most what it means to live with such a burden. I am curious to know more about this air of memories epi epithet. It is not a phrase we have heard in all our decades of research. In a few weeks time, we will contact you once more. If you are interested in proceeding, follow our instructions to the letter. If you are not interested or if you break any of our protocols, this will be the last time you hear from us. Take this to heart. The world is sick and getting sicker. The Earth's magnetic field is growing stronger. Satellites are falling from the sky. Earthquakes are getting more frequent. Famines are becoming more and more frequent. And now we have credible reports of a new and deadly virus sweeping through Asia. It can feel like we're living through a Yeetsian nightmare. Mere anarchy is loosed upon the world. In many ways we are. But there is hope. There is a cure. Us. In the past few months, we have come across something that may help us solve our most pressing problems, a message, a very promising message that may help us reverse the dire course we are on. If you want to be a part of the solution, join us. If not, we wish you the best of luck. I'm ready. Good. Um, Layla, as you traipse about England, Bex and I thought you might want to keep your eyes open for a few things, assassin bureaus, or the hidden ones more accurately. They operated in Roman Britain between the years 100 and 430 CE. It's not clear why they left, but the final date corresponds roughly to the Roman exodus from Britain, so I imagine their leaving had something to do with the Empire's retreat, mission accomplished, or a loss of faith. Not sure. But we do know it, that it was several hundred years before the Hindu ones returned to the island. It may be Basim or Haitham are the first in half a century. From our own archives, I believe there were six main bureaus operating in the Roman period. I'm not going to say those names because I'm going to butcher all of them. Uh, there won't be the Saxon. These won't be the Saxon names, so you'll have to read between the lines. Animus anomaly. Anomalies. Bex noticed these, about 10, embedded in the simulation. They're dense clusters of data that may screw with your ability to navigate Eivor's memories. Approach with caution. We don't know what they'll do if you get too close. They may be harmless, they may induce op occipital shock or wipe your mind. Hard to say. Best to err on the side of, hell no, but if you're curious, well, I warned you. Pieces of Eden. We don't know of any Isu artifacts you should be looking for specifically, but they're out there. And this was a period where they often cropped up in legend. North and Saxon songs and tales speak of them often, so keep your eyes peeled, especially around Stonehenge. How could that not be an Isu site? All right, Animus Session Report. Preface, the transformation of the Order of the Ancients into the Templars as we know them today has always been a subject of considerable debate among our ranks. We have operated with the assumption that the Templars themselves hold some or complete knowledge of this evolution, but at present no concrete historical evidence has ever made it into our hands. What little data we do have is mostly a matter of public record, with some exceptions. It is commonly understood that the origin of the Knights Templar dates back to... 1119 CE, and this indeed was the appearance of the public face of the Templars. However, our records attest to the existence of Templar agents at least two centuries before this date. In one badly damaged document and assassin contract from Normandy in the mid-11th century, the author makes us feel makes free use of the term Templar. An earlier letter, this time from a hidden one in the region of modern-day Dorset, circa 978 CE, makes mention of a Templar spy within the ranks of the Brotherhood. From this, we can safely assume that the Templar Order has an entity distinct from the Order of the Ancients, existed at some point in the mid-10th century. With an aim to expand our understanding of this dark age, one of our agents recently volunteered to delve his genetic memories to search for further clues to, his, to this age-old mystery. Unfortunately, we have discovered... Unfortunately, what he discovered was of little use for our purposes. Sean Hastings began the first of his seven sessions on October 5th, 2014. Over the course of the next three weeks, he followed various matrilineal and patrilineal lines into the past. 
focusing on the 9th, 10th, and 11th centuries in search of assassins and or Templars, Templars in his bloodline. He found none. Of minor interest, however, was the following person, personage. Here he noted for peculiarity of his biography. Ulrich Thorvaldsen, an early 9th century Jute who sailed north from modern-day Denmark with a wooden plank bearing a carving of a map that purported to mark the location of Thor's hammer. Ulricker made it as far as Stavanger before running afoul of a powerful clan there. Ulrich was defeated in battle and enthralled as a slave. He escaped his captivity some ten years later and returned to Jutland, Jutland? Jutland? to marry and settle down. The, locations, the location of Ulricker's map is unknown, and the existence of Thor's hammer, a precursor relic, no doubt remains unconfirmed. Ulricker's ancestors would later sail to England following the Normans' conquest of, this isle, of the island, settling in what is now called Lawborough in modern day Leicestershire. The irony that a man named Hastings would contain no useful genetic memory data regarding the Norman invasion of England in 1066 was not lost on our dear subject. Still, he retained his usual chipper wit and asked if he might next relive the genetic memories of his grandfather to, quote, give a Nazi a proper bollocking. <laughs> Okay, so we're obviously the wolf kiss, but who's the mad one? Layla, thought you might be interested in this. Conversations that Bex and I had with Desmond back in 2012. Um, December, I think. Just uh, candid talks, that's all. We didn't square any circles or write any beat poetry. But he did have some interesting insights into his time in the Animus and what it means to be an assassin. Anyway, have a listen. You might find you and he had similar experiences, so, uh, well, let me know what you think. Unless it's to tell me I sound like a total prat in these recordings. If that's the case, just say nothing. I mean, I did have a slight cold at the time I recorded these. That's <laughs> probably why I sound odd. Anyway, I, 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 okay, I'm done anyway, so turn off. Turn off. Oh, it's actually just a button. Sorry, here we go. No, no, come on, Sean. Turn that thing off. Oh, hold on. I like what you said there. I want to get this for posterity. Say it again, nice and loud. Uh, seriously? Sure, come on. If nothing else, it'll give me leverage with your old man. Ah, that's your angle. Nice. What I said was, I wish I hadn't been born into the Assassins. I wish I had chosen this life. Is that good enough? Sure, but why is that? Because... Because choice is the central idea of our creed. It underpins everything, right? It's about Nate? free will. Nate, it's is about that you? seeing the evidence before you and saying, yes, this is what I want. Or, no, this isn't for me. But when you're born into a group like this, or any other, like I was, you get mixed signals. You get told over and over again, this is what we believe. These are the rules. This is reality. No deviation. And if you question it, oh, they look at you like you, like you killed a puppy. That's hardly free will. It's a weird irony when free will is your central belief, but nobody wants you to believe otherwise. I don't know how to say it exactly, but I always thought there was something self-destructive about our creed. If free will is the most important moral guidepost we have, we should be free to ignore it, to choose submission, for example. You know what I mean? Like, we should be free to side with the Templars. If it's really my choice, I could do that. Right. It's almost self-refuting. A democracy could democratically elect a dictator or choose to get rid of democracy altogether. Within our creed is the seed of its own destruction. That's what makes it powerful, I think. And fragile. Right, right. The more freedom you have, the more risky it is, you know? Anyway... My dad has mellowed over the years, but he was strict when we lived on the farm. He ran a tight ship. 
I never got the impression that I was free to choose my path forward. Our creed, our tenets, they were drilled into my head. By the time I was a teenager, I was following these rules out of a sense of duty. This was just what we did. That happens to a lot of organizations over time. A stagnation sets in, you know? A fundamentalism. Yeah. Following the rules becomes more important than achieving whatever goal you set out for yourself. And people start to lose sight of the reason the rules exist. That's called deontology, or a form of it. Following a rule for its own sake and not for the consequences it has. Yeah, but that feels backwards, doesn't it? Well, I think so. Following a rule is the easy part. Praying, taking a sip of wine, munching on a wafer. Rituals that give comfort. But that's just going through the motions. It makes people feel like... like they're doing something. When the hard work is... well, actually getting off your ass and doing something productive. I think people just want boundaries. Tight boundaries. They want to see the four walls that pen them in. I don't disagree. Anything outside that? Anything that makes life more complex? That's scary. That's why I envy you. You chose this life. You went through that process and you decided, yes, I believe in this. Sure. It didn't stop me from being an insufferable know-it-all as a teenager, <laughs> but I see your point. I would have loved to have been a know-it-all. I knew nothing. Not until you guys found me. Yeah. It wasn't until I met you and Bex and Lucy that I knew. I knew I wanted to be an assassin. Oh, thanks, Des. Come here. Bring it in, bud. I don't know we like touching, but I'll make an exception now. <laughs> I am not hugging you. You sure? Because I smell very nice today. Can you just turn that off? Hold on, I'll just set this here. Do you guys record everything we talk about? Not everything. But you've been using the Animus so much, I thought this was a good chance to learn some things about prolonged exposure. So I'm your guinea pig? No, no, my guinea pigs are all dead. The Animus was too much for them to handle. <laughs> Can I ask you about the bleeding effect? Any recent flashes? Any memories resurfacing? Yeah, the usual things. Ghost images of Altair and Ezio a few times a day. Nothing intrusive, just brief moments. They pass quickly, almost without me noticing. Like a figure in the corner of my eye. Or remembering a dream from the night before. I did have one extended hallucination a few days ago. It was Ezio. He was older, around the time he left Cappadocia. He was standing on the deck of a ship. Alone. And through him, I could feel an intense... regret. Or guilt. And it felt to me like he'd had a... A loss of faith in himself, in the creed, like he couldn't keep it up, couldn't stay true to his ideals. And as I watched him, I thought, is this the moment he decided he was done being an assassin? It felt like it. Anyway, most of my visions have been brief, lasting just a few seconds. They're like... Complete memories of small moments that appear suddenly out of nowhere, fully formed. It's a strange feeling. Okay, anything else? I'm starting to see Connor now, too. Though I hear his voice more often than I see him. I'm sure that will change. Oh, yeah, and yesterday, just before bed, I had a memory of being on a beach in the Caribbean with a bunch of sailors. Or maybe they were pirates. <laughs> I don't know, no idea. Huh. We'll look into that. And how do you feel in general? In general? Well, I feel older, for one. Much older. And it's strangely comforting. I'm collecting the memories and skills and thoughts of so many people. I feel like I've lived a few hundred years or more. Is it possible that if I do this for too long, it'll push my own memories aside? That I'll be everyone but myself after a while? Mm. It's possible. That's called identity substitution. It's happened before, but it's rare. And someone with your background shouldn't need to worry. My background? You mean someone with my genes? My... abilities? You have ESU DNA. And that lets you see things and do things and... withstand traumas that other people can't. And I can suffer in ways that others can't. 
That's not something to be proud of. You mean the apple? Yeah. It has a pull, Bex. It tugs at my brain. It talks to me. Teases me. Drives me mad. And what I did to Lucy. God damn it. Nothing is worth the damage I did. The pain I caused. I know. But you're special. That's the point. I'm not special, Bex. I'm lucky. That's all. I understand. We're assassins. It's our creed that makes us different, not our genes, not our blood. Anyone can join us. That's true. But let's leave that aside for a second. What I want to know is, have you ever had any Isu memories resurface? Isu memories? I don't... don't think so. I can't even begin to imagine what that would feel like. I think you'd know if you did. Maybe one day. We might be able to induce something. Jesus, let's fix the world first, okay? <laughs> Before we start digging up my ancient ancestors. Deal. With my luck, I'll be related to some third-rate Isu like... like Sisyphus or something. <laughs> Way to aim high, buddy. <laughs> hey, you gotta... Alright, I'm not gonna listen to all of these, but I wanted to make sure I heard... the logs from Desmond, because a bunch of you asked about those. Alright. Back to the Animus! Because no offense to modern times, I just don't really care about them. <laughs> but it is cool seeing them connect. Alright, so I'm going to talk to Ranby, and then I think I'll stop after that. I need to stretch my legs and my hips hurt. Okay. Where am I going? Oh, you guys told me to talk to this boy. Knut, what are you doing in here? Eivor! We need your help! Who's we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No. They're hurt. And badly. Take me to them. Okay, change of plans. We're gonna do this quest with this little kid and then I'll stop after that. And I'll start next video with talking to Randy. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. This kid's fast. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. Can't you run any quicker? Knud, you have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just, just trust me. Nikki, you did it! Shh, she's... You did it! You brought Eivor! Good work, Knut. What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh, that is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? <laughs> my mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Your dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There is no need. Let me see what I can do. Oh, shit. We must help her. 
her. She could be starving. Poor oh, her. Where is the wolf? She's crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. Why does that four have a key on it? Oh, is it in the house? Okay, and the house had a lock on it, so... Killing this boar now? A key to the front door. I must be cautious opening it. I'll free that wolf. And pray to Tyr that I needn't slay it in front of the children. The table is set. We never made it home. At least this end came quickly. There is no safety in alliances with savages and Dane outsiders. Despite my warnings, they invite Viking strangers into our village and mingle with the, with the degenerates. Damn them all. I say if they will open their gates to, the, to those people, then they are shut to me. I am happier to live alone in safety than in the chaos they have bred. How'd that work out for you, bud? man liked his trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. Easy. Easy. You have a kind the pup hanging about and begging for scraps is a decent hunting dog. I have slain more wolves in my time than I care to count, but this one seems to have been away from her pack long enough that she has lost her wilder and crueler instincts. If she proves herself useful, I may even give her a name. Wait! Easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. <laughs> Wolfie, where'd you go? Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it's time to get you three back to the settlement before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone. You understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to <laughs> I learn. I don't know about that. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That oh. is not quite how it works. <laughs> Hi, Foxy. More wolves and mother Oh. Stand back. Oh. Oh god, I thought I shot the wrong wolf for a second. Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. <sighs> De Wolfka. What? De Wolfka. It's like dog wolf. Uh, no, I don't like that at all. <laughs> we should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? <sighs> I like Dewolfka. That sounds like a Viking name. Dewolfka. It has an absurd sound just like all of this. She's our best friend. Chewy was a close second. Now, we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We all Guys, I have a freaking wolf. Like you, Eivor. Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. <laughs> well, the Wolfka, you coming? Have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, 
befriend them at any cost. <laughs> they are perfect companions and very oh, no. kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned? Just until we get home. It is not the lesson we wanted them to have. I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She's so she funny. Away by now, just like that boar you killed, Abel. You saw that. We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now, scamper off home and take your new friend with you. Wait, I want to pet him. Hi. Sweet. That was really cute. Thank you guys for telling me to do that. That was awesome. All right, guys, I have to stop there. Um, I'm really loving this game. I'm so glad that I was able to progress through so much of the main story, but those side little mystery missions are really fun. I feel like each one is unique. And while you do see some mysteries repeated, like the shrines where you have to donate an item or um, the puzzles where you eat the mushrooms and have to solve the puzzle or the rock cairns or um, the totems that you have to destroy. Like you do see some of those repeating, um, but for the most part, every little, every mystery that's like a mission is completely unique and it doesn't feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again. And I know that was a lot of people, a complaint a lot of people had for like Ghost of Tsushima, for example. Um, and it's, it's really fun to go up to a new mystery and wonder what you're going to have to do for that one. Uh, so I think they did a really good job with that, although it does look, it's a little overwhelming with how many there are. Um, it just gives you a lot of content that, that feels unique to what you've been doing. So that's really exciting. Um, next video I'll start off by talking with Ranvi and officially opening up the next area of the map, even though technically I've already been there, um, and we'll continue with the main mission. I will do the side stuff occasionally. I don't think I'm going to do all of them on camera just because I will be doing that. I'll be recording this game for like years if I do that. <laughs> um, but I will kind of what I did today. I'll just spatter a few in there. Um, if there's any specific ones that you know you want to see, if you just drop the location of where I can find those, um, I will try to do those specific ones on camera. But for the most part, I'll just kind of do a random smattering if they happen to be close to where I am uh, and kind of just do it that way just because I don't think we'll make any progress if I try to focus on all of the side little mysteries. Um, but let me know in the comments below your thoughts on that. Um, I'm really excited that we have that wolf. <laughs> I I know that if you got, was it, I think it was the pre-order, I don't know. There's some version where you could get a wolf mount. I wish I had that. I know I could buy it for real money, but I already spent so much money on this game I don't necessarily want to do that. So. Um, it's cool that we can have a different experience with the wolf in our camp. So thank you guys for telling me about that mission. I really appreciate that. That was really cute. And I really like the name DeWolfka. <laughs> um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and hope you have an amazing day.